Nate Holly stopped by the office. Uh, he had an idea for a boot company. And how much money did you I raise? Two million bucks through the accelerator. It's pretty cool. Two awesome. million. Did so, you start first in the 67 steps? No, I went to the accelerator. So accelerator first. Yeah, because how did you hear about it to me to start with? Uh, so uh, at, at work, I work at DC Shoes, and I work with all the athletes, and we were doing a post or something, and uh, I was going in the morning to do like a Facebook post for, yeah. for my category. And you see your things, so you scroll through it for a little bit, and you came up. Oh, okay. And I was like, what's this? And you know, you're like, oh, my Lamborghini, my Ferrari. Oh, okay. Well, and I was like, what? And I watched it, and then I went and YouTube you, yeah. and the whole day, I don't think I got shit done that day. I was just watching you and learn, like, the... The, different videos uh, everything like huh. uh, stocks and all kinds of different stuff and I'm like dude and for my work the levels we get we get money to educate ourselves so I get a thousand bucks a year to buy oh, like what are the accelerator course languages so yeah. I bought the accelerator awesome I've had a really good experience with accelerator um, my story is uh, I found Ty one day I was doing work on Facebook for, for who I work with and posting something and I was just scrolling through my page, doing whatever, and I saw, I saw this guy, and and uh, decided to check it out, see what he had to say, and and uh, hold her the whole Lamborghini Ferrari thing from his garage, and I'm like, wait, what, what, what's going on here? So I listened to, him and and then uh, kind of did some YouTubes of him, and and uh, for some reason he really grasped the the way he was talking, and, and it was more his expertise and what he was saying. It, it wasn't some like random corporate guy, like like letting you think that you know. You should be at his level. You're no good. It was just about. It was more tied about. Well, hey, dude. Anybody can get to where I'm at. You just got to be smart about it. And uh, and uh, so I just kind of took taking the classes and I got really into it. I immersed myself into it super hard. And uh, I've started a couple of business in the past. And and it kind of realized when I started, it started like, okay, I I really did make mistakes, but other people do too. So now every day I read. I can't have a day where I don't read. It's, it's trippy now if I don't read that day. Or it used to be like, I don't even know what a book was. Anyway, so what happened is I was reading and reading. And then with this idea I had, I, I decided like, well, I've started some other businesses. And all these books and a lot of it's saying if the teamwork makes the dream work. So I got to find a new team if I want to do this, this product there, this idea that I have. And that's what I did. I, I Lessons I've, I've learned through the books, like compelling people, never eat alone. Um, Think like act like a leader, uh, relentless. It, it just it all kind of started connecting, and so I made some phone calls and I took action, raised two million dollars to start a boot company, and uh, now uh, within a year we'll have our first our first sample, our first beta sample. Another thing that I learned too is like you don't have to be a genius to be a millionaire. It's amazing how many people are not even close to being a genius that are these extremely wealthy people. Uh, but the accelerator is an awesome course, and it gives you, it gives you an. Exp it is like a college course. Like I went to college, and I can tell you, the only thing that I learned about college is, if you sat me down, what did you learn about college? Is I learned that you can never have a first annual anything. I know that sounds weird, but it's like the only thing that really stood out to me in college, besides like learning how to roll joints and taking beer bottles and all that kind of shit, doing acid, and 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 now it's like the accelerator has. It's better because it accelerated my mind to, to believe in myself and, and to read. And, and these books are um, so much education, it's crazy. Even in work, even where I work, I've been working there forever for, for more than 20 years pretty much. And the guy who started the company, Bob McKnight, I've known forever, but he is now a mentor of mine. I, I went... And one of the first things I did was he got to find a mentor. And I went and I sat with Bob. I'm like, hey, dude, I'm taking this thing, kind of explain what I'm doing. I want to go with you to all these, meet all these board meetings and stuff. And sure enough, what he say? Oh, fuck yeah, come along. All that he was ask. It's crazy how, how it, it helps to, to realize, just spark things in your head to like just open up and, and just to go after it. But not be scared because if you would have said no, oh, well, I didn't have them anyways. I already didn't have it. So it's, it's, uh, it's super enlightening. If you're on the fence, you should try it because it is an experiment and it worked for me and it, it may not work for you. But like you said, like you can get your money back if you don't like it. And if you, if you, if you're on the fence about it, it's a non-risk thing. You just, if you don't like it and it doesn't work out, you can get your money back. But I suggest do it because you will learn and it will educate yourself and, and, uh, 
it's been amazing, especially now that I'm so immersed in it. Like I told you when I first started the program, I was doing the mini talks and, and one of them was like coming soon. I freaked out and I called here and I was like, hey, I'm fucking, I can't learn today. I was, you know, it, it's really cool and, and uh, thanks Ty. So you've raised, you said two million? I raised two million dollars for the okay. project. Right now we're- uh, Where'd you raise it from? Uh, from okay, so what okay. I did is my first business I ever started, I started a pre franchise of Wahoo's Fish Taco. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, I've heard of those. Uh, yeah. Never worked in the restaurant business. Dude, it takes a whole different person. Yeah. Because I went from working for Quicksilver in D.C. forever, traveling the world, traveling, traveling constantly. Like, yeah. I mean, I've come into work that day and I had to leave it to heat. Like, I've done, like, yeah. being stuck, I wasn't good at it. Like, being stuck in the same place every day at the Wahoos, yeah. I didn't like it. Yeah. So after two years of having no days off, I was like, dude, I can't roll like this. Just because I, I like being out and about and, and meeting with people, and you are meeting with people, but it's the same thing every day. Right. And I'm stuck in a routine. Yeah, Joel Salton says there's no change without a change of routine. Yeah, so I remember you reading this, you said it was Consumer Success, and I looked it up, and it was just like, if you change the way you think, you can't help to change what you do. Right, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So that are good things, you know, you learn about that, but, um, uh, so anyways, with the boot, I, and then my second business was a soft goods company called Deaf Family, okay. which is one of the athletes I work with DC. We started it together, and I went out and got money. We had an outside investor, but uh, one of the guys said, you know, I'm going to put up all the money. I was like, oh, dude, I've been through this before. Yeah. And now everybody hates each other. Yeah, yeah. But it's still going. It's been going for like 12 years now. Uh, so this third one now with the boot, I, like, I knew the exact, I know how to make the team work, make the dream work. Yeah. And I found the right people who are are involved in the world, but have made a lot of money yeah. doing being, uh, other businesses they've done. So you raise it from people who have already been successful in that industry. Two of them, yes, and, and one of them is his son who was in the industry, but yeah. the, the main capital guy is owns, I, I think, hundreds of jacks in the boxes. Huh. So okay. that's how I got the money for that, because yeah. he's involved in... One of the mistakes people make with raising capital is you want to go to people who already had a good experience in that industry. They had a great experience. So like, yeah. people will go to like, they want to do a movie and they want capital and they go to somebody who made money in restaurants. I'm like, but they don't have any positive uh, mental experience and dopamine released around that subject. So you found people that had already been around motocross. Motocross, yeah, yeah motor, like, uh, oh yeah, for, for the whole life, I mean, uh, we grew up, he and his son grew up racing together. And I wow. was close and now his son owns Jack and the you know, about yeah. his dad, but uh, his other son owns another motocross company. And you, uh, it's based out, he used to be in California. So not only that, like when we get this thing going, I can run the address out of Utah, so I can yeah. pay taxes and stuff. And yeah. they have a whole shipping fulfillment company or warehouse and all that stuff. So when you pitched it to them, did you have like a pitch deck, like people no. say, or just talk to them and you no. felt no, your no, enthusiasm? Okay. The first time when I went to have the restaurants, it was you know how I did raise capital. I went to him first. Yeah. And, he, and he's a restaurant. I've been mean, known. He. This was for your restaurant. Yeah. So yes. I first did, it and he's like, I would do it, but I don't like your partner. And I was uh -huh. like, okay. So then, uh, when I started the glove company. I, he, you know, he knew I was doing that, so he's been following what I've been doing, and, and he's right. awesome. And, and uh, I told him this idea, and he's like, dude, hands Is he up. older than you? Oh, Wayne, Wayne's in his like 70s. A lot of people who have capital are older generations, so you got to learn how to speak to them, too, yeah. which you're good at, because... Naples people? Yeah. Naples? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's great, and, like, I saw the Accelerator, it's funny that, like, you know, I went to college and all this stuff, but I tell you, the only thing I ever learned in college, yeah. the only thing that I can tell you I remember is you can never have a first annual anything. <laughs> I know that sounds so stupid, but like when doing PR stuff, you can't Right, you have, can't be like, it's our first but, annual. But what uh, I've learned in the Accelerator is yeah. fucking mind-blowing. Like, dude, I've read, I've read, since October, I've read Compelling People, Never Read Alone, Think Like, Act Like Later, Relentless. Yeah. Uh, I just finished Cre Creative Inc. on the way up here. Nice. Uh, go get that. You do an audio book sometimes? I do both. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Record, the GoPro. Yeah. You said to do trampoline jump, remember yeah. that? Yeah. I cannot do that. I have to, I'm reading through the whole thing. That's okay. On my page. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but There's a lot realize, of cool stuff in those, right? Dude, yeah. it's crazy. There's a whole section on how if Mr. Woodman leaves the company, it'll just fucking tank. Yeah. And it does that to protect himself. Yeah. I didn't know. You yeah, know. he locks himself in. It's and epic. It's awesome. Isn't it interesting that like in school you didn't learn any of this no, stuff? No, I didn't learn shit. Yeah. Like, no, I didn't learn anything. And like, I, I, I don't want to say I wish. I mean, I guess it's my parents. Like, I wish I could be like, dude, I'm sorry. I, you paid for me to go to right. college because it wasn't cheap. And, and, uh, and actually, my first year of college, and this little story, I, uh, I, I lied to my parents. Okay. I never went. I actually went uh -oh. to Amsterdam. And I, we were, <laughs> you mean you weren't even in the same country? No. It was fucked up. <laughs> you would call them from we, Amsterdam we went, and be we, like, we oh, to, what we state to, did, were you supposed to be in? 
Oh, California. So you'd be like, oh, ah, yeah. yeah, I'm here in California, but can't visit you. Well, we went to orientation. You had to like, you know, the back then there was no, I, when I started college, there was no cell phones. Right. So the guy sitting next to me, you had to meet people, whatever, and he just didn't get all his uh, scholarship money. So he had oh. no place to live. Okay. But he got a tuition paid for it. I was like, wait a second. What if we switch? Yeah. What if you pay me, but then I go live at your buddy's house? Right. All right, let's do it. <laughs> off I went. So yeah, anyways. But... That's an yeah. awesome story. Yeah. Well, good. Keep yeah, telling the story. You. Oh, my That's story. It's awesome. awesome. And, and like I said, anybody's on the fence, like, it's stupid because you really have nothing to lose. Like, you right. said you were fighting. If you don't like it, you get your money back. So it's really dumb if you don't try it. So it's been worth your money. Dude, I'm, I'm trying to think about the business thing right now. Yeah. Like, I know it's a whole other step. Yeah. But uh, I think you'd be good in that. I mean, you. But it, it's it's the the immersion. I immerse myself in it pretty hard when yeah. I get into stuff. Yeah, because like, you got to actually do it. Because some people. I can't believe you buy and don't do it. That's yeah. made it mind blowing. About 30% of people, of anything they ever buy, whether it's a book, you know, a ticket to something, a course like this, literally about 30% of people never open it. And it's it's the. If you just let it open your, it's amazing, like the stuff that you learn through the books, through yourself, through these guys even sitting here, watching them in the behind the scenes. Yeah. Like uh, the other day I couldn't get on the vault and I freaked out. Uh, yeah. Cause I, I'm, I'm so, I can't go a day now without reading. Oh wow, that's awesome. It, it, yeah. Because I've done it for more than 67 days.